as a video content creator, how do we get rid of this watermark? So anyone that subscribes to my channel knows that my channel is all about drums. I play drums, I teach drums, but for this video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. This is gonna be geared to some of my friends that are also content creators. So I'm gonna leave the studio here and talk to you a little bit about TikTok. So I started TikTok, I don't know, about eight months ago. And you know, it's been fun doing these short form one minute video lessons. But here's the downside. I like to take some of those lessons and repurpose them, say for Instagram Reels or a different platform. But what's been happening is that I've been reading tons and tons of articles like this. Instagram Reels will suppress videos with the TikTok watermark. Basically what that means is TikTok has this nasty habit of embedding its watermark in two spots on every one of its videos if you record it straight into the TikTok editor. Now I know there's tons of apps out there that claim to be able to do this. Some of them are paid, some of them are free. I just have not had any good experiences. The video quality would be bad or it'd be out of sync or it didn't do a great job. I also don't love the idea of uploading some of my content to some third party app or site. Uh, so I like to handle it all in house. That's just personally for me. But if anyone does have a good solution from an app, definitely let me know in the comments below. Now I've also found, and don't quote me on this, I don't know if this is true or not, but when you do videos that aren't done directly inside of TikTok's user interface, you get punished a little bit in terms of your reach on your video. Now it's not true of every single case, but I have noticed that videos that I have canned or have edited on different software, like on the computer and then uploaded to TikTok, tend to not do as well as videos that I've recorded natively right inside of TikTok. The downside of that, of course, is if you capture a moment on TikTok, you're gonna have that little watermark embedded everywhere, and then things like Instagram are gonna turn around and suppress you. Well, I wanna show everybody my solution for how I get rid of the watermark. Let's get to it. Now, ideally, you wanna take a screen video while you're in draft mode before you publish your video, because that's gonna give you a nice clean shot of your video before it's got any logos in it. Uh, since I didn't do that, I'm just gonna grab it here from the computer. Now, if you notice on the computer, TikTok does put the logo in there, but they put it at the top, top, top up here, and then all the way at the bottom. And that's gonna be cropped out later. So now notice I'm letting the entire video play. Uh, now I'm using Final Cut, but of course you could use any editing software as long as you have these mask options or just a mask option. And it's very important, I'm gonna make sure this project is in a vertical view. There we go. Now we got my empty project and notice right here, we have this portrait view. The next thing I'm going to do is import some media. Now the video that I just captured, we call TikTok mask and that's it. There's the video I just captured. I'm gonna import that. So now we have TikTok mask right here. Excellent. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab the original, which is right here. This I just downloaded from TikTok. So I'm gonna pull the original and pop it right in the timeline. Next thing we're gonna do, let's grab this TikTok mask. This is the one we stole from the computer. I'm just gonna drop it in there for now because I wanna clean this up. So I'm gonna V this out. Hitting V just deletes that track for right now. I'm gonna find out exactly where this thing starts. Right there. So I'm gonna slice this out, goodbye. So I'm gonna X this, go all the way to the beginning and paste it. Okay, now these should be relatively lined up, but they're not going to be perfect. Okay, that's, that's what's tricky about it. So I'm gonna turn this layer back on. So now I have both layers running simultaneously, but the mask is on top. So the challenge with that is now I can't see what's happening underneath in the main timeline down here. So what I'm gonna do is select the mask, come up here in our properties, and make the opacity 50%. And that's going to overlay it. So can you see that now? If we look up here, you notice how when I skim across, you see it's like, you see two sticks. So that's showing the two layers on top of each other. I'm going to come back to the beginning. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to figure out where it's off. Okay, the, the one that's coming up is the mask layer. I need to match that. I'm going to do it right where the stick has a hit. Very first hit. So that way I can mark it. It's always nice when you have a solid hit. So now what I'm gonna do is mark that. And now what I have to do is on the top layer, I'm gonna turn this one out. I've gotta find that spot that looks just like that. So where I'm coming down, I'm just about to hit, which I think is, I think it's right there. Select this, mark that. Okay, now let's turn this one on. It's actually one earlier than that, okay. So right there. 
Okay, now how do I know it's the same? Let's check it out. Let's just double check. So I'm going to V this. Okay, I'm, I'm just looking at that frame and looking at my hand position there. Now I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to get rid of this, turn this one back on, and it should be the exact same thing. And that actually looks pretty good. So what I have to do is I have to move this marker back to that marker to line it up exactly. So for right now, I'm just going to give myself a little room, blade off the front. This will allow me to move that mask, and I'm going to slide it over until the markers match up. Okay, now if I, right now I'm looking at the main timeline. Let's unmute this track. Notice it doesn't change. Look, see that? If you look at it, but look up here in this corner. Watch for the TikTok logo. So right there, when I do this, there it is, there it's not. There it is, there it's not. So there's your trick right there. So now we have everything synced up. Notice I'm leaving this opacity at 50%. Okay, so if I go back onto my timeline, you'll see right here where those TikTok logos are. It's going to be in two positions because TikTok likes to do that. For that, do that, I'm going to drag this all the way across so they line up. They start in the same exact spot. Now, again, if you notice as I skin over, it might be a little bit off when I'm skinning. Like you can almost see it, but you're never going to see that once the mask is in place. Okay? If you also notice my hand goes straight across where that TikTok logo is. It moves right on top of it which is kind of a pain in the neck right there. Let's go ahead and set up our masks now. So remember, on this top version, that TikTok isn't there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself a draw mask. And I'm just going to stick it on there. That's going to apply a draw mask and give me these points. You see that? So what I'm going to do, let's zoom this in. And it doesn't have to be perfect just yet. I'm going to tighten it up for sure. I'm creating these points. Okay, good. I'm leaving the opacity just so I could see where this thing goes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert the mask. See that? Because I can still see it. If I invert the mask, now you can see it's there. Now it's not. Remember, we have that opacity on. But if I turn that off, make the opacity 100%. Gone. See that? So that mask now is filtering out and showing me the track on top. Okay, so this is the layer on the bottom in the main timeline right here. And the one with the mask is, one, is on top, masking it up. Now you might be asking, what about the one that comes down there? Well, very easy fix. Okay, so let's come down here, and we're going to find out exactly where that switches. Okay, so now I'm going to move this over tick by tick. There it is. Okay, notice there's my TikTok logo. Pops up again the second time. TikTok does this on purpose so that it, can, it makes it intentionally hard to get rid of the logo. But this will get rid of it no matter what you do. Okay, so check it out. So he has my TikTok logo down there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blade it right on that spot. Okay, so there's no logo there. And there's a logo there. No logo there. There's a logo there. Okay, that's the frame. It jumps. So what I want to do is select this side. Now, once it jumps down here, you know it's no longer over here. So I'm just going to grab this mask. The whole thing. I'm going to select all these points. Now you could apply a different mask if you want to, but I, I like to use the same one. And you can see I can just put it right on top of that and it disappears the whole deal. I'm going to zoom in and just tighten that up a little bit. Now what's good about this spot over here is my hand never gets down there. It's, it's an un un unanimated spot, so it's just going to take that out. Fit it back again. Okay, now if I select down here, that mask goes away, notice it's gone. Okay, there is no more logo. Okay, now the only other thing that happens sometimes is the color is a little weird, and you could actually spot that mask. You can see it in there, in which case you have to kind of play with the color a little bit. So let's take a look and see if that's an issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on here. Scroll down and see if we could spot that mask. Now it's actually pretty good. See that's that's where it is. It's actually doing a really good job. So I might not even have messed with that. Normally what I have to do is I'd get into the color board and I'd mess with the colors. You know, you come into the color over here, you mess with the exposure, the saturation, the color. Uh, usually just dialing, you know, going down to exposure over here and dialing it up will fix that. Let's do the same thing, check the mask on the, in, up in the front, which should be right around here where my hand is. Okay, mask is right around here. You can't even see it. So I kind of lucked out. 
because the color is, is on. I don't even see it happening. It's right there. There it is. See, can you catch that run frame? See how it's like a little bit off right there? But again, that's going to be happening so fast, you're probably not going to see that. Sometimes that's the nature of video where frames are just slightly not playing at the same time. So you get that little bit right here. You see that? That's where our mask is. Now, if I play that back in real time, you might not even see that. So let's, let's check, take a look first before I mess with it. Okay, I, I can see a little bit of something happening there. But I mean, it's very quick. You'd have, to be, you'd have to be looking for it. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Now, remember, the logo starts here, and then it comes down here where you really can't see it at all. And just this, you have a little bit of this reflection happening inside the mask. You'll never know that, notice that in a million years. Good. So the next thing I'm going to do, check out the ending, make sure it's all lined up, which it's not. So line it up there. Make sure this lines up. So my mask is good all the way to the end. Check out the beginning. It's always good to check out the beginning and the end. You don't have a logo just popping up somewhere. Sometimes a frame will pop up and you'll see it. I've made that mistake before. Okay, that looks good. And that's it. I'm going to share it. Okay, moment of truth. Check it out. So here's my thing. I'm going to open it up with QuickTime. I'm going to play it. And let's see if we can see any problems here. No logo. Perfect full frame video. No TikTok logo to be seen. And I guarantee you that if you never told anybody that you masked that, they wouldn't even catch that little one or two frames where you see the sticks are off. Deviating from drum content is not something I plan on doing often. So if you're here for drums, I do apologize for this video. It has nothing to do with drums. So feel free to just uh, move on by, dislike it, or leave me a nasty comment, uh, whatever you want to do. But I do know I have some friends that are creators that this is a frustrating thing. So I thought I'd share my solution. So I hope it helped you out. Uh, if you are a content creator, great. And if you are a drummer, definitely stay tuned because there's tons more drum content coming out on the way. And until then, remember to practice with purpose.